Hello and welcome to this satisfactory tutorial video in which I will be explaining how you can make perfect curves with small pillars by utilizing the beams. Let's get into it shall we? If you liked the video please press that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and get updates on future videos. Welcome to my steel factory build that I'm currently making on my Twitch channel. Link to my Twitch channel down in the description below. And in this save, I'm going to show you how we can make the perfect curve with small pillars by using the beams. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create some room to start building and getting our modifications in. So let's first start by removing the foundations and extending our foundations to the outside so we actually preserve our curve that we have in place already. So we're going to extend our foundations to the outside by two, as you can see over here. Like so. And we're going to remove the foundations on the inside so we've got room to hover around. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the foundations on the inside of the curve like so, so we've got some room on the inside as well. Now the next thing we need to do is remove the two pillars that are already in place that are creating the gap as you can see here. So we're going to remove the two middle pillars and we start by using our beam. So get yourself a beam and position that beam on the outside of the curve that you're trying to make in the middle of the pillar like so as you can see here. Now place it down and now we need to extend beam. The only problem is the beam is currently in a default build mode. The default build mode only allows you to go up, down, back, forward, left, right. So on a 90 degree axis. But we actually need to go to that little corner over there and we can do that by pressing R two times on our keyboard. The R button in my case and for most people if you're using the default key bindings is toggling the build mode. So we need to go to build mode freeform by pressing R two times on your keyboard and now we can place the beam wherever we want in whatever angle we need. So what we're now going to do is we're going to align the beam to the outside of the small pillar like so in the middle as well and we're going to place it down like so. Now that we've got our first beam in place, we need to keep in mind that our snapping point of the beam is on the left side of the beam. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a cross section to actually get our beam in position for the pillar. So what we need to do is we need to go 4 meters to the left because our snapping point or to the right because our snapping point is to the left and we need to place the beam down. Now to make it easy for you we're going to change the build mode back to default by pressing R and now we can place our beam to the inside of the curve. Why do we want to go to the inside of the curve is because we need to get to the middle of the pillar that we're going to place. The next thing we need to do, we need to get our beam in place one meter off the beam we already placed, like so. Place it down and now we're exactly at the center of the pillar that we need to place. Do keep in mind the snapping point of the beam is on our right side now, so over there. Why do we need to keep that in mind? In freeform, the beam will get different lengths than the vanilla system is allowing. The vanilla system is allowing 1 meter increments per time on the beams. And this is automatically applied in the default build mode. But freeform allows you to go any distance within the 40 meters the beam can be. So what we now need to do is we need to place the beam to the left side because our snapping point is on the right side. Now that we've placed our beam down, as you can see over here, we now can remove our two 
previously built beams like so, and we're going to get a small concrete pillar. Now the nice thing about the pillar is it automatically snaps to the end point of your beam, as you can see right here. It automatically snaps to the end of the beam or the beginning of the beam in the way you're looking at it. So at the end points of the beam, so to say. Now we just place our small pillar down and as you can see here, we now got the perfect curve for a small pillar. But we need to do the same thing on the other side as well to actually get the nice connections for our pillar. As you can see over there and down here. So we're going to remove the last beam we placed and we're going to do exactly the same thing. But instead of going to the left, we're going to place the beam on the right side. So we're going to place the beam again on the outside of the curve in the middle of the pillar like so. We're going to change our build mode to freeform by pressing R on your keyboard two times and get it positioned exactly along the line that you already placed your first pillar, like so. Now we need to check the beam again. So we're going to the snap point that we first placed our beam and we're going four meters in because the pillars are four meters long. We're going to change our build mode back to default and we're going to place the cross beam again in the middle like so. We're going to place the next beam on a one meter increment again. So we are in the middle of the pillar as you can see right here. And as you already can see over here, if we go one meter up, we're exactly on the edge of the pillar. That's why we go one meter in. Now we need to place the beam towards and inside the already placed pillar, like so. And now we can remove the first two beams we placed as markers. As you can see now we've got our beam set in. It's going into the pillar. So now we're going to grab a copy of our small concrete pillar. And we're going to snap it again on the end of the beam like so. And place it down. Now you've got your corners made for your small pillars, as you can see over here, but we've got a small little gap. To fix that small little gap, we just need to remove the beam we placed, get a small concrete pillar again and place that in the gap. And there you have it. Now you've got your perfect little curve with pillars by using beams, as you can see. The last step we need to do is to clean everything up. So we're going to place back our foundations that we removed to make some building area and building space. So there we are. We're going to remove our outer foundations and we're going to close off the last little hole in the roof by placing one more foundation. And there we go. This way you can create perfect little corners and bends to pillars by using beams. The same thing can be applied to big pillars as well, but the thing you need to worry about is the big pillars are larger. The big pillars are in total 4 meters, so instead of using a 1 meter increment, you need to go 2 meters to get into the center of the big pillar. I hope you liked this video, please check my Twitter and my Twitch account down below in the description. Give me a thumbs up for this video, subscribe and I hope to see you next time.